I'm Mario. And here's a behind the scenes look at how we got some of the Wild Mustangs content that was in the Hero 4 room. Cowboy is such a classic subject in Hollywood and just in pop culture. We knew that just putting the, the brand and the, the, the way that we shoot things with cowboys was going to bring something different. We discovered this wild mustang sanctuary and we were really inspired by their mission to preserve the species. Four days later, we ended up flying out to Nevada. We only had really three or four days to shoot everything that we had to shoot for, for the entire reel. This camera right now, hopefully get some horses. There were two shots actually that I wanted. There was a shot of just wild horses running in their natural environment, tracking with them, but then also wild horses running like right at the camera and getting that perspective that nobody can see because it's a super dangerous place to be. The big challenge of the flight animal is that you get close to it, it's gonna run away. So really quickly we knew that we had to place cameras in areas that we knew they were gonna go through. So in this case, we got lucky right before a storm. There was a bunch of mud everywhere. We placed somewhere between 12 and 15 cameras. And that was part of the problem. We didn't know how many cameras we placed. <laughs> cameras were all over the place and, and we didn't know which ones were missing. Well, we didn't know how many we had total. Like. Which, which is funny, then it started raining at the end of the running of the horses and Trenton just had a gut feeling that there was a camera missing. It started raining and everybody was just saying, like, we gotta get, get out of here. Trenton was like, I am not moving until I find this camera. I'm like, Trenton, it's just one camera. We have 12 or 13. So then I literally, like, we're turning around and he steps on it. Now comes the fun part. Well, there was two main modes that we wanted to use. The first one was 1440, 60 frames per second. For one, it's just, you get such a beautiful, large image with 1440, and at 60 frames per second, you can slow it down so much. When you're on a horse, you know, it's, it's pretty quick movement, lots of jitters and up and down. It's incredible how we can take a shaky shot that was filmed in a higher frame rate and slow it down in post-production to make it smooth. We use the new mode in the Hero 4, which is the 2.743, and you're still getting the 4.3 frame size, but with a much larger resolution. And that mode is actually one of my new favorite modes because you're able to get so much resolution out of these POV shots now. You have to try things out. You have to put them in multiple places yeah. just to review the content and, and then go with what's good. Yeah. In the beginning, I think it is important to get it creative. We, we mounted it on on a boot, hat, chesty, so we got really creative in the beginning and then uh, throughout the production we, we just knew which shots were the best. Thanks for watching, hope this behind the scenes video gave you a good insight into the uh, Wild Mustang piece, hope you liked it. <laughs>